Good morning, Montgomery School. My name is Simone Carestas, and today I will be talking to you about thinking of life as an adventure. When I was thinking about what my chapel topic should be, I started thinking about some of the people around me, my family, friends, and many more. How have they impacted me? What lesson could I take away and possibly talk about in my chapel? When I was thinking about my relatives, I began to think about my grandmother, who passed away about seven years ago. Although I was young when I was with her, I remember her as always being very adventurous and fun. Unfortunately, she was diagnosed with cancer, but nothing could stop her from being the beautiful, lively woman she always was. I have a large hill in front of my house that leads up to the street, and I remember her sledding down it with me in the winter a year before she passed away. Also, nothing could make her take breaks from what she really enjoyed doing, which was bowling and dancing. At this time, she knew she was sick, but she never stopped living life to the fullest, and she made every second count. She definitely made her life an adventure for herself, but also for me, and I will never forget the impact she had on me. Of course, my parents and sister Anjali have encouraged me throughout my entire life to try new things and to be open-minded. However, I have a story to share with you about another one of my grandparents' adventures. My grandfather, or as we called him, Grampy, used to ride a motorcycle. That's an adventure in itself, but that's not the story. One day, my dad decided that it would be best if my grandpa stopped riding his motorcycle because he was getting older. My dad wanted to let him down easy, so as a kind suggestion, he turned my grandpa's helmet into a plant holder. Message received, he soon gave up his favorite toy. It wasn't easy for him, though. His motorcycle was a big part of him and who he was, and that was because of the thrill and the adventurous attitude that he had while riding it. Although he was close to 65 years old when my dad told him to stop, I bet he would have ridden his motorcycle until the day he died. So as you all know, the big gift-giving holidays were about a month ago, and that holiday season can be pretty stressful for most adults, and some kids too. Although Santa covers most of the gifts, there's always that special present from your parents and other relatives too. During the season, most adults I know tend to get a little or extremely stressed out with all the gifts they have to give and the decorating they have to do. Obviously, I am not an adult, and I don't have this experience, but I have noticed that people get all stressed around the holidays and forget what the holiday is really about. If you can lift that weight off your shoulders by simply seeing the things you need to buy or do as another step closer to your adventure, the holiday. This is, the, this is just one example of how you can turn a moment in your life from a stressful one to an adventurous one, and here's another. Imagine that you are about to do something you've never done before, riding your bike without training wheels or going to a high school where you don't know anyone. At first, you look at the situation in your head and imagine the worst possible scenario. You lose your balance on your new bike and fall on your face or walk into your new school and everyone hates you. Then you'll think to yourself, there's no way I'm doing this. Well, sure, anyone can back out at the last second when you're about to do something hard and say, no, I can't do it. Well, you can do it. It may not be easy for anyone to build up the courage right away to perform a hard task, but here's one way to get through it. Before you approach a task, ask yourself, do I, wanna, do I wanna make myself stressed about this or not? Most of the time, you should answer that you don't wanna get stressed about it, but you may not know how. Picture the situation as an adventure. Walk up to your new school or new bike with confidence and, tell, and forget about the things that could go wrong and just do it. Some people go around with their lives doing the day-to-day -day things they have to do and need to do, whether they like them or not. In my opinion, everyone should be doing a lot more of the things they want to do and they enjoy doing. Sure, many people have a busy schedule to, ma to maintain, but there should always be time in your life once in a while to do something enjoyable. Adventures don't have to be a tour around the world or skydiving. It could be something as little as just sitting down and closing your eyes to relax, or watching your favorite TV series on Netflix for eight hours straight. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> of course, there are other many large adventurous things you can do. Here's one example.
obviously, wait, sorry. <laughs> They're pretty, that was a pretty extreme adventure right there, and it looked really fun. But there's one thing that I've really wanted to do for a while. You know, in the supermarkets, they usually have those things that I called supermarket seat things with carts. And so I looked them up on Google, and they're called motorized handicap carts. Well, I don't know why, but I've always wanted to ride around the supermarket in those for just for fun. <laughs> and my mom even agreed a while ago that I can do it for my birthday next week. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone raise their hand and share something you really want to do or an adventure that always looked fun? <laughs> Karina? Cliff dive or skydive? Skydive, okay, that's, that's nice. You? <laughs> Bungee jumping, that's fun. You? <laughs> Bungee jumping. <laughs> Here. Jump off a plate. With a parachute, that's safe, okay. <laughs> so obviously there are big and little adventures, but it doesn't matter the size. When I think of an adventure, I just think of something you enjoy that doesn't fit into your daily routine. Something that either you've never done before or don't do too often. To begin, you need to stop dreaming and start doing. You won't ever get to do your adventure if you just sit around and think, I want to do this and I want to do that, when you could be out doing it right then. Don't be jealous of others that are doing the things you imagine yourself doing. Instead, start doing them. Also, don't worry about other people will think of what you do. Nobody needs any sort of approval from anyone else to do what they enjoy, so don't let other people control what you do or don't do, except Dr. Holt. <laughs> Other people's opinions shouldn't stand in your way to do something you like, so don't let yourself stop you either. Be optimistic and try new things, and let go of the things you are afraid of. On the TV show The Middle, there is a character named Sue Heck. She dresses like a third grader and acts like one sometimes too. You might have seen my friend Georgia Dom over there just like for Halloween. One good thing about this character, Sue Heck, is that she never gives up. She's the most unathletic person in the world, but yet she still tries out for countless sports teams that she never makes. However, she keeps trying. Her brother calls her a dork optimist, and although this may be true, there is a lesson we can all learn from Sue. That is to always keep trying, no matter what. There are too many excuses anyone could use to, try, to not try something they've, they've failed or do something they're not sure of doing. Next time you have an adventure, I challenge you to say yes. In the beginning of that video I showed earlier, there was only one guy going off the slip and side off the cliff. Later in the video, more people start to join his adventure and do it along with him. Your adventure could even inspire another person to be part of an adventure, just like the guy in the video. It can be hard sometimes to join in on an adventure that is offered by your friends or family, especially if you are skeptical about the offer. But if you are open-minded enough, you will know what adventures you should try and not try. Another thought most people have when they think of adventures is the cost and the money they'll need to spend. Well, sure, today most things you can do out of the house cost way more than they should, but it doesn't need to be the thing you do to have an adventure or a fun time. It's the people you share the moment with. The moment of adventure doesn't always have to be planned either. Sometimes you just need to let the adventure happen on its own and flow with it. If the moment isn't perfect, don't let that stop you from being a part of it. Perfection in anything is never going to be an option, so don't expect it. That leads me into my last piece of advice for adventure, which is turning off your expectations. Anyone's daily routine is easy to predict. Wake up, go to school or work, come home, eat, sleep, and repeat. With adventures, you never know what could happen, so, and that's the beauty of them. If you don't set expectations or a predicted outcome in your head for an adventure, you've just opened up an opportunity to have a good time, and possibly so much more. So have an adventurous rest of your day, and remember, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. Thank you. <laughs>